Welcome back adventurers to the continuing adventures of Chile in Victoria 3. We are at episode 7 and after this uh, one week of uh, playing Victoria 3 on the channel I'm going to switch it up again. So we're going to alternate uh, Victoria 3 with uh, Crusader Kings 3 where I had an ongoing series. The Warrior Queens of the Mediterranean. So um, yeah, I'm going to alternate those. Let's get back into uh, our Chile play. Uh, I must say also, last time we enacted railways, we started building railways, and we actually said we need to build more because there was a lack of infrastructure. But that was a bug in the last patch, 104. We got, we're now on patch 105, where they fixed this. Um, because the trade centers had an overwhelming need for infrastructure, which they have now rebalanced. So now we have plenty of infrastructure, and there is no need to build more railways for now in this um, state. So we're going to cancel this one. And we're going to work, well, tooling workshops, that's always good. Textile, our people have need of clothes they are expensive even though we are importing them and motor industry so we can make our own engines for our trains and chemical plants because we are using explosives in some of our production methods uh, we're also importing fertilizer so that's also a thing that chemical plants make so we can stop those imports then i think uh, yeah, we have uh, lots of transportation. It's a very cheap, which is good, I guess, so people can move around and products can move around. So fertilizer is now cheaper, liquor is a bit more expensive, and fabric is a little bit cheaper. That is all good. What else? No, oh, these. Uh, furniture and wood. That's nah, all good stuff. Uh, let us get running and then we get steam donkey that was the um, technology we were researching and we can now use steam donkeys in our mines and logging camps that is great and that means we are in need of a new technology to research all right so we have everything at this level level two and we could go on with improved fertilizers that is definitely something to consider and we also said something about rotary valve engines last time uh, electrical generation that might be good too and at least to steam turbines where is steam turbine these are sometimes quite byzantine um steam turbine unlocks coal fired plant for power plants and oil turbines okay um yeah that is all good future technologies but right now we could go for rubber. Vacuum canning for food. In we don't really have food industries. We should maybe do something about that. Um, I think right now most useful is this. And we're already being exposed to this. Seven to 12 months left. Let's do that. And then maybe here under society, we might want to have a look. Um, cooking, least to, no, we have pharmaceuticals. What I want is to have hospitals and medical care at a better level than we currently have because we have some very dangerous industries and we have industrial accidents. But I'm not sure what to do about that. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could go towards steel. But yeah, no. I think uh, we shall stay here, do the fertilizer, and then see what is most useful of these other level 3 innovations. Patriotic fervor deactivated. They're not as happy as they were before. I mean, this is a bit confusing. It's deactivated. So these are the effects we're losing. They're still happy, but they're not ecstatically happy, uh, meaning loyal. Right? That's the, the gold one. Yeah, the Catholic Church is unhappy, and that is what's leading to a rise in radicalism. And the Church is unhappy because we are planning to enact a law for property to women, so that women can have um, possessions. That's a bit weird, right? Um, I mean, they've always been able to have some kind of possessions, but yes, like... In terms of our economy, can they possess factories, and farms, and that kind of things, and take part in um, the workplace? So that is what we're going for. So I've even the thought crossed my mind: maybe we should um, suppress the Catholic Church. It's a bit weird, maybe, at this point in Chilean history. But it would open the door to more progress. Well, let's see. If we... Yeah, what's happening with the intelligentsia? Are we... No, we're not bolstering the intelligentsia. We're bolstering the industrialists. Because that helps us to industrialize our country. Yeah. Alright. And uh, what else do we need to do? We need to have a look at our new production methods. Um, I definitely want to make more grain why well, yeah improved fertilizer that's what we're working on now so that will help for this okay livestock ranches mm, yeah we're already doing what we can here except for mechanized slaughterhouses we could go for like electric fences eventually and uh, refrigeration yeah okay what do we have here? Our coal mines. We're already at the best here. We can use nitroglycerin, but more people will die. That's the problem. That's why I want better medical care, if possible. Do we? We don't really have a shortage of coal, do we? Let's have a look here. Green. Furniture, clothing, paper. We need to improve paper. Uh, we could use more coal. It is uh, slightly expensive. Well, it's, yeah, 90% higher than the base price. So what can we do here? We, yeah. Uh, oh, we can use steam donkeys now. That's great. Yeah, and we can use rail transport. Great. Then we don't have to use nitro. We have fewer accidents. Here as well, we are at the highest possible pumping equipment level. We can go to steam donkey and rail transport for the iron mines. We probably want to expand those as well. Are we importing any iron?
Yes, we are importing quite a bit of iron. But we're making money off the um, tariffs here. So that is okay, I guess. But we should consider expanding our own iron mines. Paper is expensive, yes. Gold mines. We should also consider expanding our gold mines. Yeah, they're doing well. Back of plantations, real transportation. Transportation will become more expensive. Maybe it's more important for the logging camps. Yeah, this will really up the uh, demand for coal and engines as well. My goodness. Um. Yeah. Okay, paper, paper mills. We want this and sulfide pulping. This will also need dye. And it will become very expensive. And here sulfur will become expensive. Let's do this anyway. We need more paper mills. And we're working on our motor industries. Military ship building. Okay. And, and we can go for rifles now. Okay. Public trams. Yeah, let's wait with this. Let's not go overboard. Let's not go overboard. I think this will already um, introduce some imbalances. Wooden passenger carriages. Is this privately owned or government run? Let's keep this for now. Ah, we can go to electric trains down the line. Why is the railway not doing well? Let's see how that goes. Fully employed, but they're losing money. Because coal is very expensive, as are engines. Yes, I see. Um, maybe we should subsidize this for now? Unable to hire, yeah. Um, engines and coal. Can we do anything about our coal industry? We could go for nitroglycerin. But then we need more explosives. We need more engines, and we need more coal. 
why are they taking coal from us? And we are losing money. That's not fair. Okay, we want more coal. Is there something we can drop here? Cancel one of these and then add, or we can probably add Explosives have a better price now. Liquor is more expensive. Oh, look at that. Engines. Yeah, we want more engines. We want more engines. And we can't get more engines. Which means our railways are not making money, right? Some are subsidized. The Los Rios ones are subsidized. Let's subsidize these as well. I know that's going to cost us more, but we are getting so much gold. We need to spend more money. <laughs> In order not to waste our gold. Okay. Um, engines it was right. We need engines. We need to make our own engines. So the motor industries is up next after the tooling workshops. All right, let's go. In concerns. The rural folk have expressed their concerns about government decisions clearly favoring the interest of the industrialists. Choosing is always hard, not because the decision is difficult to make, but because the consequences can be a bit inconvenient. Rumors are spreading like smoke from a factory, staining the clear air of Chile with dense and vicious poison. This needs to be addressed, and the rural folk get urbanization concerns addressed. Um... No. Or they need to accept that we cannot always please everyone. And that is how it is. That is how it is. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. Wait a moment. There is a diplomatic play here. Guarini. Ah, oh, they're going for that. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are neutral in that. They can do what they want over there. We have no interest in Guarini. Sulfur and steel. Okay. Yes, yeah, sulfur. We said we need to get sulfur. Paper is still expensive. It's gone down a little bit. Yeah. I need... I need a building. 
right? Paper mills. Yeah, we want to go maybe for that. Give us a bit more paper. We would need more dye. Dye would become very expensive. So we would need to stop exporting dye. That is doable. We were only exporting it because we had too much of it. What? No! That's the import. I thought we had an export. Okay, die. Uh, 11. Yeah, get from Argentina. And from Peru? Peru, Bolivia? I guess. Yeah. Alright. I thought we were exporting some of it, but I guess not. It's explosives that we're exporting. No. Fertilizer is what we're exporting. Yeah. Okay. We need sulfur. Probably we want in Santiago to start with. That's where most of our industry is, right? We now have property women. So f plus five percent workforce ratio. Intelligentsia endorse this. Trade unions and uh, the rural folk. Oh, I thought they had concerns. Oh no, that was about uh, us uh, promoting the industrialist. So the Catholic Church is uh, opposed to this and is being radicalized. And also the landowners do not like this. Yeah, well, you are institutions of the past and we are moving forward. A proposal for a trade agreement. A trade agreement means there is no tariffs, but also no bureaucracy costs. Let's accept that. That means we immediately have more bureaucracy to spend which means we can, for example, import sulfur. Right? And uh, no, it's this that I want to have a look at. Paper is getting more and more expensive. We really need to make more paper. We'll need to make more coal and engines. Yes, and steel. We have no import of steel, so we need to import steel. Steel is used in tooling workshops, motor industries, shipyards, arms industries, urban centers, and railways, of course. Yes, so we need to import steel and sulfur. New import route. Uh, no engines here, eh? So, steel. The British market and sulfur. The Austrian market. Okay. 
That should help us. I mean, talk about living in the past, right? So the uh, Catholic Church and the petit bourgeoisie want to go back to racial segregation. No way. No way. How are we doing here? Argentina? How did they get this? We were colonizing this. Hey, that's not fair. They snatched this bit from under our noses. Give us this. Come on. Yeah. Of course, in real life, they also fought over the axis here um, from the Atlantic to the Pacific. But, um, yeah, now most of this is ours, and they have this, this exclave down here. Oh, well. And it does mean we can start incorporating the rest of the state that is actually ours. Ooh, that's costing a bit of bureaucracy. Um, what can we do here? Only thing I see we can do here is uh, canceling a trade route. Or just leaving it as is with a slight deficit. Untrained hands. Children working in the tooling workshops in Los Rios have suffered injuries trying to operate the machinery used in production. After examining the boys and the dogs sat back down, turned to the mother and sighed deeply. Well, I'm afraid your son is never going to become a great musician, he said. But then again, perhaps that was never one of his more likely prospects. Keep children off the factory floor, now that we have women who can work, right? Uh, child labor restrictions for five years. Or these new industries need all the employees they can get. Yeah, that's not really good. Let's do this. Let's keep children off the factory floor. Hmm. So what happened here with our colony? Because we were almost there. We had the last bit. It was like a hundred something days to go. Oh, whatever. Uh, former politician de la Cruz has died of the landowners. And they have a new leader. The Santa Cruz. He's bigoted. And neutral. Okay. And we still have this bandit in charge of the intelligentsia. Okay. Uh, maybe we should cancel this Man of Wars one. We definitely need to make more paper. We're importing a lot. But that means we need 
need more wood as well. Yeah. enough qualifications down here yeah. let's uh, get one in Santiago oh no Okay, paper's actually becoming cheaper. Wood is becoming very expensive. Okay, so we need to do something about that. Logging camps. Donkey, real transportation, privately owned, yeah. I guess once we get one in Santiago, we can change the production method to make mostly softwood in one state. Or exclusively softwood in one state and then mix in the other. But logging camps are at the bottom of the queue right now. This is what I think. So we now have, what is this trade agreement broken? Relations between Argentina and Chile are poor. Wait a moment. Okay, that is interesting. Current prestige is 58, Argentina 59. Okay, the army power projection is 66 and ours 78. What are they planning? Defend the borders. Promote liberal reforms, plantation economy. We're still amicable. What? Why? We cannot have a trade agreement with them any longer because the relations are below poor, but they're not. They're amicable. There must be a bug. We can't even improve relations at this point. Okay. Uh, what? They're in the Dutch market now. Well, isn't that surprising? They're in the Dutch market. I see.
Hmm. Go figure. Anyway, but relations are amicable, so maybe it's because relations with uh, the Netherlands are good. Neutral. Well, whatever. Um, that means we need to look again at our trade goods. This is all good. We're exporting to Peru, Bolivia, which makes our tools a little bit more expensive, especially because this is a very high level export route. Yeah, this, this is just not right. So in their market, the tools go below our price. I don't want that. That is ridiculous. Yeah, so we are just like importing from Britain and losing a bit of money on that to just send it on to Peru Bolivia. See if that helps anything. At least we're importing from Peru, Bolivia. Ah, uh, but there wouldn't be any tariffs on this anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. Interested in Belgium. And then now have an interest in La Plata, of course, and the Andes. I see. Okay, engines are getting cheaper, that's good. Steel is expensive. We need um, to make steel. So if the Netherlands now have an interest in here, of course, Argentina is now part of the Dutch market. Are they going to have uh, eyes on Chile? And are they going to fight us if we don't want to comply? Interesting question, huh? Okay, um... Yeah... There are no dye plantations possible. What about a steel mill? Needs coal and iron. And we got improved fertilizer. Nice. Okay, before we forget, let's set a new tech. Being uh, exposed to reinforced concrete. Okay.
Okay. This would help. Uh, electrical generation might also help. Nitrogen fixation. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sewing machines. No, we want that. Mechanized looms. Yes. I don't think we can upgrade these. Oh, we can upgrade to steel, but we need steel. Yeah. They're losing money because wood is prohibitively expensive. Building is fully employed though, so... We're not yet to worry too much about that. Uh, Steel mills, yeah. Yeah, fertilizers. This is a lot more grain. Rushing machines. Yeah. Deals more expensive, of course, and the clippers, okay, furniture says don't work. Steel. We can't import steel unless what's going on? Ah. Uh, unless we change another uh, cancel another route. We could just stop exporting hardwood. It's but it's used in the arms industries. Yeah. Let's do that for now. And then change over 
the logging camps that we have to prioritize softwood. And then this one can stay on this um, mixed one. Yeah, it's, right now it's zero zero, of course. Um, yeah. Okay. And that gives us room to import more wood. What is most necessary? Wood, right now. Yeah. We can get it from the Peruvian Bolivian market. That doesn't cost us any it's a level 3, so it's a good amount. It doesn't cost us any uh, convoys. Although we do have spare ones, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that affects the price. I kind of click through. By clicking on this okay but this gives me a nice graph okay so the price has improved it's still high but it has improved price fiction deactivated yes they don't dislike us as much as before they got used to uh, property to women. Okay, I was complaining before also about this goal. Uh, we want to get the educated achievement, right? That's what we're working towards. Learn the game uh, objective. And actually, the last objective is to finish the game. To play it all the way through till... The end of 1935 so we have a, a ways to go with this series i imagine because our goal from the start was to get that achievement so that's what we're still aiming for it's gonna take a while but that's okay what is this it was a Government administration, standard system. Oh, building levels greater than or equal to ten. Okay. Great roads, our industries. Yeah. Very nice, Chile. That's probably also something we want. Conquest of the desert. A moment here. Hydraulic cranes unlocked. Plus one port max level. That's nice. Uh, what is this? Uh, we don't own all of Mendoza, so this is not even possible unless we attack Argentina. But there isn't much to get there. Mendoza isn't really all that. Why can't we just go to the Mendoza State Region? Yes, I know. Anyway, this one, right? It's a slave state. My goodness. Um. Yeah, so it has sulfur and coal. It has some dye. That's good. But... No gold or anything like that. Uh, who died? Luis Latour of the Intelligentsia. Okay. So who is the new leader? Nicolas de Velasco. 
He's meticulous and a political operator. That is nice. They are loyal. They are growing in clout. Yeah, so now might be the time to get them into the government. Maybe. Also, I don't know, was this here before? I haven't I used the overview that much before. But I'm thinking this is more... It stands out more now to me. Um, if we reform the government and get the intelligentsia in, we drop in legitimacy. What kind of nonsense is that? Why? Minus five from high income taxes. So, without them, the second most influential group from the opposition, we have a higher legitimacy than if we incorporate them into the government. And the trade unions? <laughs> yeah, of course. Hmm. We would like to bring the intelligentsia on. It's still 63%. But... Yeah. And they're the most loyal group, in fact. But why does that give us lower legitimacy? Minus five from high income taxes. Size of the government. Is You mean the government is too big then? Huh. That is weird. Okay, let's leave it as is. As is. Um, we're not working on any laws, right? So what should we do here? I think we should start working on restricting child labor and getting compulsory primary school. But that's not yet possible. This requires a labor movement. Okay, that's for the future then. This is only supported by the trade unions and the rural folk. Not even by the intelligentsia. That's weird. Okay. Well, the next step would here would be women in the workplace. Find a women's suffrage. It requires feminism. Poor laws, we could do that. The industrialists like it. Plus 40% welfare payments. I mean, it would cost us money, right? But it would raise the standard of living of the lower strata.
Industrialists want no migration controls. Maybe we should go for that. People can choose where they want to live. Um. Yeah, so what what do we need for this? Ah, we need to get rid of state religion. I see. Can we? Can we get freedom of conscience, please? At least? Only if we get the intelligentsia on board. I'm starting to consider that that's worth it. It's worth the drop in and legitimacy of the government. The separation, only the intelligentsia. Yeah. But this, also only the intelligentsia. Yeah. Hmm. Landed voting is what they want. What some want. And force also. Could be interesting. Okay, so we should maybe seek to bolster the intelligentsia. Now that they have a leader who is like a political operator, who is not like a bandit or something. Okay, he is a radical. Okay, we should consider this. Give me your thoughts. Right now, we're doing okay with our economy. But maybe um, get more construction. I think we should get more construction. Yeah. Uh, Santiago. We should build one in Los Rios, but there's not enough people there. Um, that's how we got it to. Okay, let's finish doing our paper mills and then build more construction. Or we could actually do the construction first. It's just four weeks. Let's do that, and then uh, we're calling it a day for now, and uh, I hope to see you again in the next episode.